dirty little secret about nickel metal hydride batteries. Nickel metal hydride batteries are good. They can deliver about as much energy as the familiar disposable alkaline batteries that we've all been using since the 1970s, but there's no need to discard them after each use. They're rechargeable, and the best of them can be recharged thousands of times. Since they cost only about 10 times as much as cheap alkaline cells, their higher value potential is obvious. However, few people are ever able to take full advantage of the superior features of these NIMH batteries because there are complications and the battery manufacturers have no incentive to reveal or implement simple solutions. But we are here to help. In this video clip and the supporting material available in the corresponding article at AskMrWizard.com, we will help you understand these complications and to manage and use practical solutions. The attractive features of these nickel metal hydride batteries are several. They include 1. High capacity. These batteries can deliver about as much energy as the familiar, popular, premium alkaline batteries. In fact, they can power relatively high current devices like modern digital cameras even better than alkalines. 2. They have a high recharge count. When managed carefully and recharged using optimal conditions, Nickel metal hydride batteries can be recharged at least 500 times. Some can be recharged a thousand times or more. Three, low cost. These batteries cost only about 10 times as much as alkalines of equivalent size, but each can replace 500 to a thousand of those alkaline cells. The problems and challenges associated with nickel, nickel metal hydride batteries are also many, and they include one, self-discharge. Once these batteries are charged up, they will not stay that way. Most nickel metal hydride batteries will lose about 20% of their charge after just one day unused on the shelf. After that, they continue to lose uh, one or two percent each day. And within about 60 days, even when just sitting around not used at all, their total energy capacity is diminished so much that they really should be fully recharged before use. A second problem, it's difficult to detect overcharging. When a nearly dead nickel metal hydride battery is inserted into a battery charger, its voltage will quickly build up to about 1.2 volts. The voltage will remain at about 1.2 volts throughout the charging cycle as more and more energy is pumped into it. When it becomes fully charged, the voltage will decrease very slightly. However, that, that 1.2 volt figure varies a bit from cell to cell and the fully charged decrease is so slight that it can be difficult to detect especially if room temperatures fluctuate or household power line conditions fluctuate. Because of these fluctuations and subtle differences, it can be difficult to detect overcharging. A third problem. It's difficult for battery chargers to differentiate between nickel metal hydride batteries and other types. A well-designed battery charger should refuse to charge an alkaline or carbon zinc battery. Non-rechargeable batteries tend to release electricity at 1.5 volts, while nickel metal hydride batteries tend to produce about 1.2 volts. Battery chargers try to identify non-rechargeable batteries by measuring the voltage they produce. Anything higher than about 1.2 volts is assumed to be non-rechargeable. However, a fully charged, healthy nickel metal hydride battery cell might produce a little more than 1.2 volts. It might produce about the same voltage as a non-rechargeable cell that is partially discharged, and this can confuse the battery charger. Some battery chargers will simply refuse to work at all with some otherwise healthy nickel metal hydride cells. A fourth problem, damage from overcharging. Nickel, nickel metal hydride batteries tend to remain cool while they are charging up. However, if a battery charger continues to supply charging energy after a full charge, all that excess energy is turned into heat within the cell and that heat can damage or destroy it. Damage from reverse current flow in multi-cell applications is a fifth problem. It is commonplace to install several of these batteries in a single device, typically in series like this. It is also commonplace for users to operate the corresponding device until the batteries are drained before removing and replacing them. Unfortunately, it is not unusual for one of those batteries to drain before the others. In this case, the dead battery can actually experience backward current flow from the remaining batteries 
and this can damage or destroy its rechargeability. Patent encumbrances. Some of the most important and most fundamental technology used by nickel metal hydride batteries has been patented, and the patent holders have severely restricted its use, especially in high density, high capacity applications. More segments of this video clip are available at www.askmrwizard.com in our electricity section. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find on our website, along with text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. www.askmrwizard.com, your technology magazine online.